Hello everyone, and welcome back to Nemoria. We left off the last episode doing something, I'm sure. Putting more statues in this room and putting our sandstone um, tiles in, which are probably worth about 10 each, would be my guess. Yep, so I mean, that'll be nice to have. And we also laid out the tables here. And I think we mined some in the last episode, and we started harvesting wheat again, because our wheat, like, dropped down a lot. And we're still working on our first tower that's going to go on our wall. And it's right over here. Th this is interesting. Uh, I don't really know what's going on here. And we still have a bunch of wild animals just running around. Well, they're not wild animals. But they are animals that shouldn't be running around because no one's clearing up the butcher, so we can't use it. Maybe we just need another butcher. So let's put in a second one. Butcher shop. We just need a knife. I know the tables are going into the... Uh, into the Great Hall, but still. Where do we get a knife? Is that from the stonemason? Oh no, I didn't... I didn't tell them what kind of table. Well, those ones are gonna be all basalt tables then. I, I kind of... Are, are they going to all just be basalt tables? Yeah, I guess so. Okay, so I'm just going to cancel all the rest of these and just put them in as basalt so that they all look the same because otherwise it's just not going to it's not going to look as good and I want this to look really nice. So, table basalt table. So, all of these should be basalt tables. I didn't specify. Oh, merchant from Dip Strangeness! Ah, the agricultural city state. Yes, very good. Still waiting for traps. Looks like all our blade traps got in, though. Um, but anyway. Was that a knife? A granite knife! We can build the second butcher! We should have everything we need. No, we have no tables now. Oh boy! Alrighty. Dip strangeness. We will take all your food and all of your drink and nothing else. 350. Wow, we only have one piece of jewelry right now. Alright, 174. And then we have a bunch of wheat green, but they don't want very much for it. You have a hundred of our birch clippings. So now we just need 76. I think that's what we need. It's just 76. Yeah, see, that's too much now. We'll just take back eight of these. There you go. Trade. <laughs> They're already moving it. Very good, guys. Can hides go in these? They should be able to. I'm like 90% sure that they can. So they should be going in those now. Alright, guys, let's make a table for the butcher. Oh my goodness, my buildings just have so much to do and not enough time at all. <laughs> but with the floor and everything. I don't know how they're going to get it all done, but they will. They will do it. I have total faith in them. Let's see if we've got any mining going on. And if we don't, why we don't and how we can fix that. 
I see we don't have any of our torches in at all. We did find some copper here, for sure. Another... There's another little uh, chasm over there. Okay, where was the floor? It was up farther than this. Where we did some sort of interesting little thing trying to find metal. And Oh, we could probably do it here because there's obviously a huge copper vein over there. And there's some coal right here, which doesn't hurt. Um, but yeah, let's just... um. Let's get over here. Actually, we can take out this one and that one. So let's just see what's over there. You know? Can't hurt, right? Copper. Alrighty. But there was a floor where we did something just like that. We could do it on this one too, in all honesty. Um, but where was it? The one where we did that. How oh, we could get these guys. Was it here? Yes, it was. I wonder if this is actually all like one vein. It might be. So that's down on level 33. Negative 33. But you get the, the general idea. Ooh, we found some gems. Sweet. Alrighty, let's just uh, mine all this out. Because who doesn't want copper? Only silly gnomes don't want copper. In fact, I can honestly, I can just hope that the vein goes all the way over there. Because maybe it does. Then we can grab these two pieces of coal as well. So there we go. Ooh. Level 36 so far has definitely produced some interesting results as well. I'm so glad we decided to come back to these levels. Oh, my heater just came on, but our heater always blows cold air for the first few minutes, so I'm cold all of a sudden. Now, I don't want to be cold. An alpaca is born. I just, I have a feeling that we need to come over here and see what this one's about. That's all I'm saying. Yep. Copper seems to have one of like the longest veins, just on average. This one's looking like it might be pretty small, but the others are pretty, usually pretty large. Like here's one, it does go all the way out here. And it honestly, it might just continue like over here. And we should be putting uh, torches in here. Oh, I didn't want a wall torch. This one is a regular torch. Not that they'll ever be put in, because reasons. Looks like there's not even one in this room. Come on, guys, we could use the coal. Don't turn down coal. So there might be more copper over here, just because there's copper above, and sometimes I've noticed that veins in this game do... Uh, continue on floors above or below. It's not every time, but sometimes it does happen. All the copper we can't get because of the chasms, though. It just makes me so sad. Hey, our, our metal amount's going up again. Okay, so there's not a bunch more here. 
But let's just put in a torch just in case it can't hurt. Let's grab this stuff as well. Alrighty, here's some more. Let's see what's out here this way as well. Just for funsies. You never know what you might find. More and more and more copper. Trust me, I wish I could get all of you. It'd be very nice if I could. The chasms are nice because they give you a hint of where stuff is. And that's just helpful. I'm guessing all my miners are currently tired. Let's just see if there's more. Just a tiny little excursion, but all of that I can't get because of the chasm. And that's really bothersome, and eventually when my builders aren't super duper busy all the time, that won't be the case. It just is right now. And so we'll deal with it until we don't have to anymore. Like there's obviously copper over here. It might just be a really small amount of copper. But it's definitely a, a potential for it. We'll, we'll even have them dig out here. Because I think there's probably a copper vein stretching from this chasm to the other. So we'll deal with that. And, uh... Ooh, more! Get all the metal! Oh, yeah, we lost a guy last episode, too, to a skeleton, I believe. That's the only thing that would make sense for it being underground. Alright, but our metal count's up to almost 700 again. Woo! We did a good job. And... Why is there mush... Oh, we must have traded for mushrooms from Dip Strangeness. I always think that we just trade for fruit, but no, we could have traded for mushrooms. Let's take all their food every time. Yeah, this is... This room's gonna look good. It will definitely look good. Okay, we're getting some pretty good work done here. I like how they're just like, we'll come up here this way. Then we're gonna put in fences. Um, we can put in, oh, actually, you know, my builders have enough going on with them right now. I did see a trap coming up. It must be this one. Yeah, copper spike trap. Wow, did they get the spike traps on this side in already? I guess they did. Copper is most definitely the metal that we seem to have in abundance right now. We have almost 400 copper, raw copper. I wonder if it counts this as copper that we have, because we can't access it at all. I'm very curious as to if it counts that or not. But we did dig it up. So I don't know. Is this silver? It's either silver or tin. It just looks like really bright. It's tin. Okay. Tin's still good. Tin is still good. Alrighty. Let's see how floor 33 is doing. Alright. So there's nothing else over here. There's some sapphires over here. We could come and at least get this one. Oh, and we can get this copper. We honestly might as well just assume that there's copper in all of those places. Because there might be. No guarantees, but there might be. Any other obvious points on this floor? We have coal over here, but can't get to it without dealing with the chasm. We have more over there, but... Copper's the nice one where you usually get, like, large amounts. Nice! We actually got 
um, several sapphires out of that. What about this floor? We definitely have some copper over there. Let's go find out if we can, uh, access it. The honey badger has bled to death and must have walked into one of our traps. Silly honey badger. Hmm. I wonder if you're part of a vein. Let's find out. Also, I'm curious if that's a coal vein, because there's just a bunch over there. Oh, well, here we go. Some metal's just difficult to see. And here's some coal, and here's some copper. Because why not? Why not mine out the stuff you know that you have? Because we're going to use it all. The biggest issue is, like, what if we run out of metal on the map? I mean, that's not going to happen for, like, a super long time, but it's possible. We'd have to trade for all of it, and that just sounds awful. I don't want that. Trading for all of our metal is expensive. How do we survive? I mean, jewelry, but what if we harvest all the gems on our map? Then we have to rely on just having a lot of seed to trade. And we need to keep some, because that's what our emus eat. Our lovely little emus. Whose trough is empty. Why are the emus troughs empty? Why on earth are they empty? We need more ranchers, really. I mean, granted, really don't need two tailors right now, but when we do, we really will. I don't think any of our blacksmiths would make better ranchers than blacksmiths. Yeah, they definitely wouldn't. Well, I'm sure that they're still getting seed because we have it. Like, look. Any seed, 4,662. Like, this guy has a full trough. Barely full trough. Goblin alert, goblin alert, goblin alert. Alrighty. Sound the alarm. Oh no. Attack all squads to the golem, please. Oh, we're a ways down. Squads are gonna take a while to get here. Alright, they're here. Good. Let's check on the goblin situation. One goblin has bled to death. This is a dead, a dead honey badger. Honey badger left on. Which one's bleeding? It's not the raider. Someone's still bleeding. The basalt golem died. Oh wow. Okay. Just the goblin raider is left. Both fighters died, and it sounds like he's bleeding. <gasps> Guys, could this be it? Could we actually have a goblin raid that? No one dies in? I know we've had those before. I really do. This guy's bleeding, though. How badly is he bleeding? From her upper body. Well, that's not good, but it's also... It's not the worst that he could have... Or she, sorry. She could have going on. I don't think you're gonna get through that door before you bleed to death. The sun has risen. Hey, random yak, do you want to go attack the goblin? I wonder if we ever built that second butcher. Did we? I don't know. Let's go find out. We'll be back in a second, goblin. Don't worry. We did! No one's butchering anything in it, though. Butcher, 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 butcher. 
Automatically butcher excess livestock and corpses. That's right. You have to put those things on or they don't work. Okay, we made it back. Goblin's still not dead. <sighs> Goblin will eventually be dead. I like how if, like, a honey badger loses its arm, it's just a whole nother honey badger. Oh my god, we got an iron blade trap? Sweet. That thing must be brutal. What's this one? Copper. You are really holding up there. You are bleeding a lot. Just one goblin raider. Not even equipped with anything. Let's put it out of its misery. A goblin has been spotted. No way. Is it the one that I've been watching for a while? Yeah, look look how quickly that got worse for it. Alright, goblin died. And the goblin raid is over. So we will rebuild the door that was knocked down by the goblins. And then we will cancel the alarm. And then everyone will collapse out of exhaustion. Ta-da! Everyone collapsed from exhaustion. Some people are actually trying to go to bed. So we got our second butcher. Maybe we can start working on some of the issues. Um, especially the livestock issues. Because we have a lot more goblins to butcher now. I mean, like, these guys have way more. But hopefully the excess livestock can go through either of them. And eventually we'll, we'll have to solve the problem. Right? I would think so. Ooh! Level 32 is kind of a gold mine. Look at all this. And sapphires. So nice. Any other part of a uh, level 32 want to look interesting? No. We don't have a lot of chasms starting up yet, apparently. But that's okay. It'll all be better. It'll all get better. Hey, we still got copper going. Ooh, and more copper! All the copper. Yes. Just let's, learn, let's mine out a bunch. Just, let's just see where we got where we got good stuff going. Cause we could have a lot of good stuff going here. And I want all of it if we do. I wish we could just take all of this. I mean if we could build up a fence really quickly we'd be safe too, but we can't. There's no way that the builders are just overworked and underpaid and well no one in this uh, kingdom is actually paid. They just get to live and have a happy life and have food and drinks most of the time because sometimes we run out of those. I'm trying to get a really good brewer so that that doesn't happen anymore. We're trying our best little gnomes. Honest. Alrighty, let's see what we got here. I'm curious to see if there's anything here as well. There might not be. Coal is one of the weird ones that doesn't usually have a vein, or at least it hasn't for me in the past, but I don't know. Sometimes we get lucky. And I would not turn down coal because we always seem to need it. Sweet, we got more... Copper. Never turn down copper. Nope. Not if you know what's good for you. It's not the best metal, but hey. It's valuable. It's just not one of those things that you turn down. 
What can I say? My miners are probably just like, why do you keep sending us to do all these tiny little jobs? Love you. Oh my goodness. Saving. Okay. Love well, you actually just connect up these rooms, because why not at this point? Let's just figure out where everything is and mind of all. Wow, even more. More sapphires. This poor miner is just like, this is exhausting, please let me stop. Those gems take so long to mine out. But you guys have to because we need it. Except we don't actually like super duper need it. That's helpful. You know? It's one of those we do it now so we don't have to do it later type of things. I don't know how interesting this is to watch because we're mainly just searching for like helpful things, metals and whatnot, but it is important that we do it. Wow, we found a copper. I wonder if there's anything to this one or if it's just kind of off on its lonesome. We know there's no copper here. There is coal over here though and emeralds down there. I'd really like to see more ge gems added to the game, like maybe some rubies and some diamonds. Of course, maybe those do exist, but they're down lower. I just don't think they do. Um, but who knows? Maybe they are. But I'd still love to see it, just, just for variety. You know, variety's a great thing in games. And hey, my miners are getting really good practice. They're going to get really good at this whole mining thing that they're doing. And that's good for them. Because I know that I like being able to get my job done fast. And that's what these guys are getting. Is that ability. Oh my goodness, so much copper. And so many sa- oh gosh, no. Don't my hat everything. That could lead to serious problems. Alrighty. A merchant from the Toady Kingdom. We'll deal with you in a minute. Don't worry. Hey, we found copper. So surprising. I'm glad we found it though. Is there any copper on this level? There's emeralds here, but they're by chasm. Nope. We did some interesting mining on this level. Um, this is just the one where we're looking for copper. That may or may not be there. We'll see if the vein continues. Let's see if. Let's just see if there's a. Any extra sapphires around here? Because hmm? I don't turn down sapphires. Never turn down sapphires. Sapphire is actually my birthstone. I have a sapphire necklace that my aunt gave to me for my birthday. Many, many years ago. So I have a really pretty necklace with my birthstone on it. Alrighty, we found some stuff. So, sweet, more stuff. Our metal's up to 826. Perfect. I'm guessing all my miners are tired and went to bed. So let's deal with that merchant. Hi, I bet you guys thought I forgot. I had not forgotten. You have logs, as usual, and we would like to have them. Oh, wow. Wow, this masterful emerald necklace sure is expansive. So we just need 11 more. Hmm. You want 11 alpaca bones? I'm not using them. <laughs> there you go. 
What's our kingdom worth at right now? 277,000. Awesome. It's always good just to try and keep that going up. So let's put in this row of statues here in this room to increase our great halls worth some more. Because I have been neglecting that lately. I don't know how I'm still getting nomads when I have been neglecting that like blatantly. But I have been. Just, you know, a smaller number than normal. We also haven't been having massacres. And I am very thankful for that because those suck. How's our tinkering going? Do we have... Eh, slowly. That is something that takes quite a long time to get better. Oh, we got like a sword here. We got claymore. Oh gosh, that's worth so much. And it's poorly crafted. A poorly crafted Malachite claymore is worth 700. It's insane. What's our population at right now? Just 33? Really? I thought we had more than that. I saw that statue. Are you putting a metal statue somewhere? Statues usually don't go downstairs. Are you putting it in here? Oh my god, there's a tin statue in here. Instead of putting it... Oh, those are copper statues. That's right. I forgot. I thought they were tin. Nope, they're copper. We asked for copper. And you made a tin one. How dare you? No. It's fine. We have plenty of copper. We actually have quite a bit of coal right now, too. Which is just a good thing to have. We should check these upper levels for known sources of metal. Because, I mean, you never know. See, look, we have one right here. We know that there is copper right there. So let's just mine over there and see what's going on, you know? You understand what I'm saying? It doesn't hurt to have a little extra copper laying around. Because seriously, in this game you use metal for like everything. So you always need it. Oh boy, such nice sapphires. So we can get this one for sure. Ooh, and more? <gasps> you spoil me. The game is spoiling me today. Aren't I lucky? Ooh, here's something. Mine not that thing, whatever it is. And look too closely. It's either tin or coal. These look like tin, so I'm gonna go that's coal. The one back there. Ooh. Look at this chasm, just like a tear down the side of the world. That's pretty great. Let's see just if any of those are copper. Look at this one. Just goes down forever. Okay. Oh boy, okay. More copper! I really just want to harvest everything with the side of the chasms, but it's like, no! Potential danger. We're finally feeling safe here. Do not make it dangerous again. That'd be really bad. But we'll get some more statues in here. Ooh, a merchant from the land of bakers. Which you just think would be an agricultural community. Because baking, but it isn't. Anyway, I think I'm going to leave this episode of Nomoria here. If you enjoyed it, be sure to hit the subscribe button. And as always, I'm the Purple Pegasus, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye